Hello folks, Jason Crispin here of JC's Bees. It seems spring is coming early for us this year in Ohio. The predicted forecast shows 40s, 50s, and 60s for the daytime highs and the lows in the 30s. And that's for the next month. The maple trees are now in full bloom. Honeysuckle leaves are starting to pop out. And my redbud trees are getting close to opening. With this huge start of pollen coming into the hives now, it's important to keep them fed. At this time, they are starting to raise large areas of brood, and all this new activity causes them to burn more calories. And it's up to us, the beekeeper, to supply them with the needed food. As these mentioned trees are not much of a nectar source, they're more pollen. They do get a little bit of nectar, but it's nothing that you're going to bank on. At this time of the year, I do not recommend feeding syrup because it can create a moisture problem inside the hive, possibly killing the colony. I suggest a candy board or the method I'm about to show you, the mountain camp method. I would also like to add at this time, it's also a good idea to feed any pollen substitutes, such as a pollen patty. Okay, so I've got my box right here. Got my sugar right here. I got bees coming out the top, so I'm going to have to be very calm. Remember, I did not bring my smoker. Okay, so now very calm like, I'm going to set this other deep right on top of there. Okay, so I'm going to go real lightly sprinkling on the sugar. I've got enough on there now the wind isn't going to blow it. That's going to give the bees below that weight a chance to move between the frames. You just pour the dry sugar right onto a piece of paper. Any moisture in the hive will pretty much turn it into a candy board naturally. And as you can see, it's a pretty healthy colony, so I'm going to do two scoops. But I got to set you back up here. Okay, so there they got a nice pile of sugar in there now. I'm going to close this one back up and move on down the line. Okay, this is something pretty neat. Just observed and I thought I would share it with you. Bees are a little bit jumpy, but that's normal, you know, they're protecting their colony. But if I wanted to put a little bit of sugar right here, I can get the bees to move without smoke just by simply putting a little bit of sugar on them. See that? Look at them moving right out of the way. As if to say, go ahead, load her down. See if I can get them to move here. A little bit of sugar on them. A little bit more sugar on them. Moved right out of my way. Okay, folks, we got that all done. Um, Took about 10, 15 minutes to go down through all these highs, pour a little bit of sugar on. Um, that's not gonna get me till spring, but it's gonna buy me a few days. The thing I'd like to tell the new beekeepers is uh, 
to just start noting the different colors of pollen you're seeing come in. Um, with the maple tree, the honeybees bring back a yellow pollen. So it's just kind of neat to start to see these different colors come into the hive. And as a new beekeeper, you're not aware of the colors and it kind of helps you get acquainted with the pollen colors to what species of plant or tree or whatever it is that they're working. Um, to help you better understand that a little bit, um, if you go to Google and do a search on pollen source and look for Wikipedia's link, click on that and it's going to have a very detailed description of different pollens, different times of the year. And then even over on, I think it's the left hand column down so far, you're going to see where you can actually have it printed into a book for just a few bucks and Wikipedia will send it to you. So that's a pretty neat little feature. Um, anyway, until next time folks, thanks for watching JC's Bees. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Another thing I'd like to mention is I'm starting to offer a little bit of protective clothing in my bee store. Um, as of now, I got ventilated suits and ventilated jackets. Um, I've got a veil and some uh, goatskin leather gloves. Um, very proud of these products. I stand by these products. I think they're very durable. Um, I'd like to invite you to go to the description below the video and go to my bee store. Check it out. Might be something in there you're interested in.